to banning of autonomous vehicles. Before I continue, I would like to go over a few definitions that we heard, just to recap. Autonomous vehicles. According to www.techpedia.com, an autonomous vehicle is a vehicle that can guide itself without human conduction. In this case, it means guidance. Conduction. To lead or guide, or to di direct. This definition was found in the Webster's New Compact Dictionary, the Rock Roger Roger's Thesaurus, published in Nashville, Tennessee, by Thomas Nelson in 1986, and it was found on page 51. Regulate to adjust or to keep at some standard. This definition was found in the Webster's New Compact Dictionary in Rogers Thesaurus, published in Nashville, Tennessee, by Thomas Nelson in 1986, and this is found on page 183. And lastly, ban, to officially forbid something. This definition was also found in the Webster's New Compact Dictionary in Rogers Thesaurus, published in Nashville, Tennessee, 1986, by Thomas Nelson, and this word was found on page 18. To ban is what the opposing team wants to do with autonomous vehicles. They want to get someone official, like the government, to pass a law banning autonomous vehicles, meaning no manufacturing or production of these machines. And we won't ever get to see the progress made on these amazing machines or see how they could impact our lives. Sorry, one second. Uh, one of their harms they talked about was software failure, meaning meaning the reliability. Will it break down? Or will it break down in the middle of the road? We don't know. We cannot decide the quality of the software because it hasn't been released and it hasn't been perfected yet. And And we do not know how reliable something is unless we test it for ourselves or someone we absolutely trust tests it and they love it and they give us their opinion. But that is, some, that is if someone you absolutely trust tells you. Um, and Ford, Ford has, according to the university, no, 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 Ford is now develop, developing better software and can now better distinguish the difference between a, a snowflake there's something seriously dangerous in the road. This falls under the weather. This weather, okay, yeah. In conclusion, no, no, sorry. They also told you that we should ban the use of autonomous vehicles because of ethical problems. What they said for ethical problems right here is, if a driver, driverless car is faced with the choice between hitting a group of children and going off the road and possibly killing all its passengers, what would the vehicle do? A human driver would recognize the safety advantages the passengers have with the seatbelt and would avoid hitting the children. What? Okay. They are implying that the autonomous vehicle will run off the cliff because it sees children on the road and they're implying that the autonomous vehicle can think for itself and make these decisions, these split-second decisions, to either hit the children or go off the road. And the autonomous vehicle has only one job, and that job only is to stay on the road and go to your destination. And, okay. And, uh, they also said we should ban um, autonomous vehicles because of terrorists. O over 4,000 cyber attacks happen daily, FBI, from the FBI. Um, everything we own is electric, also from the FBI. The U.S. power grid is subject to hacking. And everything we have or own, like phones, cars, can be hacked. Uh, people can break into cars, Phones can be broken into, electricity, the power grid's gonna go down, but this still does not stop us from using these, this equipment. It, these scares are invalid because honestly, every day we keep using these and we don't think about what the consequence is gonna be. Uh, yes, their plan, they, 
they said they they said they would need the they would they want the U.S. United States legislature to pass a bill banning the manufacturing up and importing of an autonomous vehicle. And NHTSA would be the enforcing an entity. The funding re requirements would be directed from current attempts to regulate the vehicles. Okay, I. The opposing team, uh, basically the opposing team said that they would pass a law to ban the use of autonomous vehicles. I have a few questions, but I don't want you to answer them. I just want you to think about it and know my concerns. How will you pass a law without there being a loophole? Because a lot of laws are imperfect. Okay. Two, do you know how long it takes to pass a bill? Every majority rules in this case, so meaning you'd have to bring it to the committee, and they would have to decide on it. Then it just keeps going up and up. And and overall, it would just be confusing. Uh, yes, and laws are imperfect. There are always loopholes. Yes, and that is all I have to say, judges and audience. Thank you for your time.